hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this amazing looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool techniques so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds and background color is solid white and simply hit ok. Choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Now first thing we need to do, we will choose our pen tool, I don't want any fill so I'll go over here and delete the fill. The only thing I care about over here is my stroke so I'll choose black color for the stroke and stroke width I'll choose 90. Now after creating that just create this kind of shape like this press ctrl r to open our ruler bring that ruler over here and make sure that you are making this snap. like this yeah this looks good to me now make it fit select this shape press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit like this i'll move this thing over here now after that choose our ellipse tool now over here i don't want any stroke so i'll delete this stroke the only thing i want over here is fill so i'll choose black color for this fill and by holding shift i'll create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally then align it vertically i'll move this thing over here and this one should be like this also make it align it horizontally i'll move a little bit upward like this now after this what i'll do hit you i'll select this press ctrl alt home hit enter on it and i'll type circle select this one hit enter and i'll type only shape over here like this now after that select this shape and make it apparent with this circle like this now press r over here and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to one second approximately and create 180 degree rotation if we hit play we will get this kind of animation select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and by holding shift i'll drag this handle over here and this handle over here just like this so if we play we will get this kind of stuff now select this shape press p and create one keyframe now go to the start select this circle hit ctrl d hit u and i'll delete all the keyframes press p for position and bring it down something over here up to over here yeah this looks good to me and at this point i'll select this shape and as we, we have created already one keyframe on position go to two second around and i'll bring down this thing up to here select those keyframes set f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll simply move this over here i'll move this thing over here and this one over here so if we hit play now we'll get this kind of animation we don't want that much slow so i'll move this keyframe over here we want that animation quick yeah just like this and after 20 frames what i'll do i'll select this shape press ctrl shift d hit u and delete all the keyframes over here now after that i'll bring this layer over here select this circle and now we need we have created the shape make it apparent with this circle too now select this circle press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u and go to around 2.20 frames and now we will make it 180 
now select those keyframes set f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift we will adjust this handle over here and this handle over here we'll get this animation again just like this now we will create one null object hit enter and let's call it as main controller like this and all the circles should be parent with this main control now we have this ruler over here i'll bring it this ruler over here make sure that it's crossing with this circle at the start like this just like this now press p for position and move this not here but initially create one keyframe over here and around four seconds i'll move this thing up to here for now like this now select the shape hit u after this as we can see it's rotating select this second second circle hit u at this point now select this shape press p create one keyframe over here for now now select this circle hit ctrl d now what i'll do hit u delete all the keyframes over here and simply bring it down up to here like this and we have created one position keyframe over here and at this point around something over here move this thing over here now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move it over here and move it over here so if we hit play it you will get this kind of stuff now as you can see we have created one keyframe over here so initially as we can see we have created one intersection over here so go to the last keyframe and we have to move this null object over here until we will get this kind of intersection for this last and we need to move this keyframe over here so now if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now but we have one extra circle over here so hit ctrl d initially i am not going to parent this thing with anyone so i'll delete the parenting and at last when my time frame over here i'll make it a parent with this main controller and hit n now so now if i hit play we will get this kind of looping animation continuously just like this so yep this is our final animation now press ctrl y and create one white background and it's not necessary that it should be black if you want then you can change the color of them but make sure that you are choosing same color for everyone like for this circles i'll choose something not stroke sorry but fill i choose any color like this and for the shape i'll choose like this i'll copy the color keyframe color not color keyframe but color code and we'll get this kind of looping animation continuously or you can simply make it black as it is and if you want to change the color of everyone so create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and simply you are free to apply tint effect and simply swap these colors so we'll get this kind of stuff and you can simply create one null object go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply glow effect on it increased glow radius or something and glow threshold so you will get that glow effect also increase the glow radius so we will get something cool over here 
so yep this is our final looping animation So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.